All right, guys, just got my uh, dollar garage sale gold appraised up at the local antiques mall here, John Henry's skis. 260 bucks he offered me for it. Holy shit, ski, I only paid a buck. Pretty good score here, folks. 260 from a dollar. We know that one's real. He tested that. Tested out real. We got a big score here, folks. That's some silver or some shit. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, pretty much where my ring collection is going to end up, right in my uh, display case I got at the garage sale for 25 freaking dollars. Pretty nice. We got to keep filling it up with gold. See how much we can get. We got some sterling silver over there I found in the garbage. A couple Mario's up in there. It's an old ass truck right there. Buddy L, I got that for 50 cents. Ought to be worth a few dollars. Got my uh, Ultimate Warrior figure down there. Yep, there's my garage sale gold collection. John the Picker out. Holy shit ski. Alright guys, Friday garage sale day. Waiting for the next garage sale to open. Starts in about 20 friggin' minutes. Oh yeah, look at they're already going by and swinging in. Holy shit. Let's check this guy out. He wants to hit the sales, bud. Oh, we got a couple getting out of the car right there. We gotta get the frig up there, folks. Look at that. 40 minutes before the sale starts and they're already going. Already freaking shapping. Oh, what do we got here today, folks? Free TV. All right, folks, next freaking garage sale's up right there on the left. We dig out of their garbage a few freaking times. Oh yeah, we gotta get up there and start shopping. Looks like they got a whole bunch of shit. Big ass trombone case and everything, boys. Look at that. Oh, there's a free recliner. Holy shit. All right, guys, next garage sale ski up right there. Ski looks like this guy's in the bump and run, eh? Holy shit. All right, guys, another freaking garage sale, another garage sale. Hopefully it wasn't the one we hit last week. I don't think it is. It's over on the other side of the road. The last one was over on the right. This one's on the left. Looks like they got a free TV sitting out there in different things. We got to get that, boys. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, got another garage sale coming up. It's supposed to be on Woodview or some shit. There's the sign for it. We got to go find this beast. Oh, there's another sign up there on that street, boys. It's where they had the big neighborhood sale. Hopefully it ain't one of them houses again. Unless it's the Wii game place. They dropped the friggin' prices. That's what we want to see. Got to go up here. It's right there where them vans and trucks are and shit. We'll see if it's one of the same places. Looks like the one with the Wii games, maybe. Holy shit, ski. Maybe right next door to their next door neighbors are having a sale now, boys. Freaking neighbors are having a sale. Look at that. We gotta get up there and hit that. Gotta hit that. Alright, folks, multi sailing on the go today. Multi sailing. There's one there, and I guess there's gonna be one up the freaking street. We'll have to check that out. So look, you can tell all the cars. All the freaking cars. Hopefully it's a big ass freaking sale with all the freaking people. We're gonna find out where this beast is. Park up here somewhere. Beat the traffic, folks. Holy shit, it's right here in the corner. I bet they got some video games in there. We're gonna go check that shit out. Oh yeah, look at how big that freaking sale is, boys. Big time sailing. Holy shit, folks, a sale I didn't even freaking know about. We gotta get that. Oh yeah. All right, guys, next free item score. Check that beast out, eh? Couple freaking TVs. We need those. Need to make some of my money back. Holy shit. Just spending it all at this garage sale. All right, guys, garage sale haul video. All the shit I got garage sale in this week. Hit every freaking garage sale in town. Scored up a bunch of video games and crap, as you could tell. We'll start off with this Dale Earnhardt stand up. I scored up for five bucks. It's pretty freaking sweet. Oh yeah, got the Dale Earnhardt stand up now. Got me this uh, Sega Genesis system here for three dollars. Comes with three controllers. PlayStation controller back there. Sega Genesis is in there. Power adapter and the thing to hook it up to the TV for three bucks. Not a bad deal on that. Seventy-five cents for some fishing string. Dollar for some vacuum bags. And I got all this soap right here, shampoo for a dollar a piece. Five bottles of that crap, VO5. Oh yeah, not bad. 
Got me a uh, Oscar the Grouch for 50 cents or some shit. This was a dollar. Shape, shape machine there, folks. Got me all this shit at a garage sale. This was a pretty good score here. Show you this. 10 cents I paid for that. Dollar for these hats. There's four of them. 25 cents a piece. They're all brand new. Still got the cardboard and shit in there. Bud Light wheat. Golden wheat. Holy shit ski. Never had that kind, folks. Never had that kind. I knew I was, there's PlayStation 3 games I was waiting to check out. I found this bag of jewelry for a buck. Not a bad score for a dollar. Got me some real gold ski in there. Got me an, uh... Alpina High School ring, I believe. Holy shit ski. Alpina HS. 1969 on that one. Alpina Catholic Central. What's the date on this beast? Shit. 72. 67. Can't read the mark on this one. This is 12 karat gold filled, whatever that means. We'll check her out and get them all appraised tomorrow. Holy shit, where's the friggin' thing at today, folks? 12 karat gold filled, I think, GF. We got some 9-2... Five, I believe, silver. Holy shit, it's hard to get a good read on this crap. Nine two five, you can see it right there. Silver ring. That one I can't read the mark on it. Ten carat Johnston's ring. Holy shit ski. Yep, ten carat gold ring right there. Catholic Central Alpina. Nineteen seventy-two, I believe. Pretty freaking sweet. I was happy to get that. Happy to get the gold, folks. Then I got another one right here. That's more blinged out, the nineteen sixty-niner. It's got some initials on one side, on the other, it's got the stamp, 10 carat, holy shit ski, Terry Berry, this one, Terry Berry, 10 carat gold, look for the graduation rings at freaking garage sales, oh yeah, I feel like the golden finger picker around here folks. Scoring up the gold, another 10k ring right there. Oh yeah, happy to get the gold. So that's three rings right there. I got his 10k. This one I'm not sure what it is. Can't read the freaking mark in there. Some initials on that side. There's a mark over there, so I'm hoping it's something freaking good. Looks like it says 10k or some shit. 12 karat gold filled. Sterling silver of some sort skis These are just a bunch of random ass rings and shit Got me some Avon rings and some other crap all for a dollar not too bad. I'm gonna take it in tomorrow to the Jewelry dealer around here and see what my three gold rings are worth Pretty freaking sweet folks Yep, then I ended up getting an operation toy story three game for a dollar Holy shit, we'll put Grave Digger right back up there with my gold rings. Got me a Tetris game for a buck. Mary Kay shit cost me 50 cents at a garage sale. I ended up getting this little robot. And I'm like looking in the box and there's a box of gun shells sitting there. So I picked it up and shaked it. And the lady come over and grabbed the gun shells. But uh, got the robot there. Get take it and put it together with an allen wrench or some shit and then you drive it around with your remote control car 
They had all these freaking bags in there. And I get to the bottom, look, more gun shells, boys. Got some more shells in there and some other random ass shit all for two bucks. Not freaking bad, not bad. Got me a Scrabble game for two dollars. You can sell Scrabble tiles on the internet. Sell them Scrabble tiles, probably get the game cheaper, 50 cents to a dollar. I'd be wanting to pay if I was you guys, if you're going to resell them anyway. Amazing Structures book for a dollar. It's got a bunch of good information in there. Bridges of the World book for a buck. It's got four puzzles in there. One of the Golden Gate Bridge and some other bridges and shit. Thought that was pretty freaking cool. 25 cents a game. Plants vs. Zombies. These are all computer games or some shit. Usually I don't buy them, but they look like they're in good shape, so I got them anyway. Two brand new beach balls for a buck. They were a dollar a piece, so I ended up paying 50 cents each. Ten dollars for this thing. Got me a Game Boy in there. A bunch of freaking Game Boy games in here. I'll dump them out real quick, show you what we got. Nothing really special. We got a Need for Speed that's probably pretty good. Namco Museum. Football. Basketball game. I Spy Challenge. WWF. Tiger Woods. Bratz and X-Men. Plus the little case in the Game Boy for 10 bucks. I ended up scoring a little bit better at this freaking sale right here for a dollar. We got this Game Boy. Oh shit, they got her all wrapped up today, folks. All wrapped up for me. We got a Game Boy Advance here. It's missing the back. They got it all duct taped right up today. Have new batteries in there. It works and everything. They got me some spare batteries in there. Some energizers. We got this. Hold on. get the freaking thing open today folks we got all these games here a couple manuals I got Mary Kate and Ashley manual there let's see let's flip it over yep we got Mary Kate and Ashley let's ride it's a girls game I guess Rayman for a dollar I had to pick it up we got the Mary Kate and Ashley game. Kirby's Pinball Land. Tweety. The Rayman game for the manual there. And let's ride. All for a dollar. And we even got a little case to put it in. Holy shit ski. And I got these games here and I asked them if they had any more once I got the two that were marked wherever the other ones at. I got this one for a dollar. They had that out on the table. She went inside and grabbed Shrek 2. Star Wars 2. Star Wars Lego 1. Star Wars Battlefront 2. And then this one was out on the table. Dance Factory for a buck. Then I went to another sale. Got this little memory card probably for a quarter or some shit. They always take the tags off them and like have list of people's initials and shit Star Wars Rambo was two bucks no freaking clue what that was two dollars for this little chimp movie that goes over there I got this thing for two dollars Jeff Gordon action set it's pretty old pretty freaking neat folks for two bucks I ended up getting ripped off at this one freaking sale. I didn't even check. Look, we thought we had a copy of Gremlins for two bucks. Open it up, bring it on in there. Got ripped off, folks. Got a bunch of uh, bootleg CDs here for two dollar or a dollar. They look like they're all burned and shit. I didn't even realize it. I was just figuring CDs, folks. Seventy-five cents for this little watch I got here. The brand on that beast. I'm gonna freaking always today. Open it up. Got a watch in there. Not too freaking bad. 
Got me some VHS tapes for 50 cents a piece. Flintstones. Eddie and the Cruisers 2. Back to the Future. And Teen Wolf. Yeah, I want to watch that movie. It's pretty good. Pretty good freaking movie there, folks. Pretty good movie. Then we'll move over here to my uh, money table, I guess. Got me a Nintendo bag for two bucks. This is all my video game shit right here. I ended up going to a grad sale. Found some Super Nintendo games finally. Then I took the Super Nintendo games up to the table and the lady said her husband had about $600. I thought she said worth the NES game. So I was like, I'll go come back here and look. And then I went back there when her husband got out of work. He had like Mega Man 10 and shit. He was wanting 80 bucks a piece. But you could pretty much smell the newness on these beasts. They got uh, all the manuals and stuff in there for a dollar a piece. I don't know why you didn't sell these with the Mega Man games. But I got me a wrestling game here for a dollar. Pinball Fantasies for a buck. Super Nintendo. Even the, uh, I'll show you here in a second. We'll go with this one. They even got like little pullouts and crap in there. Here's the manual, and then they got all the inserts that go inside. It's pretty much complete in box. Any Super Nintendo games for a buck. I thought they said they had NES games, but nope, there's Super Nintendo. I can't remember all of them, just Mega Man X. He was wanting like 80 bucks for the freaking thing. Super Nintendo Final Fight for a dollar. I love this game. Love the Final Fight game. Tiny Toons Adventures. Buster Bust is Loose for a dollar. This one's got the manuals all folded up in there and it's pushing the box out. This is the only one that wasn't in great shape. Only one that's pushing out a little bit, folks. Got me Rocco's Modern Life there. It looks like a pretty freaking cool game. Spunky's Dangerous Day. Rocco's Modern Life. Pretty freaking cool. Hmm. Yep, we got that one. We ended up getting a GameCube controller for two dollars there. Seventy-five cents I got this Nintendo game. Only Nintendo game I found this freaking week, I think. Dollar I got Guitar Hero 1. Needed that. Freaking needed that game for 75 cents. Ultimate Warrior Squirt Gun. Pretty cool. Got the championship belt on. Made in China. 1990. You push this down in the back here and it squirts water out his mouth and you fill him in the head right there it's pretty freaking sweet for 75 cents got this all at the same sale I got the Super Nintendo games we'll get to that one later I got this at the same sale too Lincoln Park live in Texas for a dollar it's like three disc set or two disc pretty cool pretty cool Lincoln Park GameCube game 75 cents enter matrix Dollar, Lord of the Rings, two disc set, fifty cents. Got me a NHL hits two thousand three for GameCube. Baseball game for GameCube, Home Run King for fifty cents, and a football game for GameCube. Ski. Let's put these over here. DS game for two bucks, Guitar Hero on tour for DS. You got your buttons up there for your. Yep, that's Guitar Hero Ski. Dollar a piece, I paid for some PSP movies. The Fifth Element. Can't even remember what they all are. The Rock. It's a good movie. 30 Days of Night. And Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh yeah, that's a good one. 
good freaking movies there folks put those up there buck a piece not bad I ended up paying five dollars for this game I thought maybe it'd be worth some money but it's not really worth that much five dollars not bad I guess PlayStation game you don't really want to pay over five bucks for any games unless they're Pokemons or some shit some Mario's maybe or Zelda's got that for two bucks two bucks for that two dollars for that one Xbox 360's that's at one sale there dollar for that one two worlds was a buck Wrestlemania was a dollar was two sales right there you'll find just a couple copies of each game or a couple copies at a sale or some shit who knows two dollars for this thing changes colors and stuff don't really find too many games at these sales anymore folks got me some cookies here I gave some kid like 50 cents or some shit for those I'm not even gonna eat that got me this thing for a quarter spawn figure I believe and I hit up big times at this freaking sale. Got me a bunch of freaking Xbox games here for a dollar a piece. Bunch of sealed copies. So you could freaking tell. We'll go through these beasts real quick, show you what I got. Pretty close to a hundred games here, 90 some. I might have to turn my camera off and recharge it here in a second. UFC, Matrix. Ghost Recon 2, X-Men, can't believe I found 100, 100 freaking Xbox games at one garage sale, unbelievable. Yep, I'm going to go charge my camera real quick and then I'll turn it back on to shoot the rest of these beasts. Alright, we're back in production folks, now I can show you the rest of these game skis, remember they were all a dollar a freaking piece. Best Xbox score I ever got so far. I purchased every single game they had. Got a bunch of sports games there. The Hobbit. Mission Impossibles. Mojo. Dragon's Lair 3D. Metal of Honor. Breakdown. Drake, holy shit, Manhunt, Doom 3 Ski, Battlestar Galactica, Obscure, Cell Damage, there's even some 360 freaking games in here, Frogger and Beyond, we got a Tiger Woods Xbox 360 game there, Capcom Classic Collection, Fable, Virtual Pool, all of them have their manuals and shit in there and little pull outs and stuff. Constantine, that game was $26.99 back in the day, holy shit ski. Holy shit boys, I feel like I just saved a ton of money on that beast since I only paid a dollar. Unreal Championships, Brute Force. Is Yurik only on Xbox? Pretty freaking sweet. We got some more 360 games here. Tony Hawk's Proving Ground, dollar. Lost Odyssey, dollar. All of them, buck a piece. Holy shit, ski man. We scored up big times. Ultimate Alliance Special Edition. Pretty cool. Mercenaries 2. Wolfenstein. EB Games. Never even freaking heard of it. Played it. Trade it. Trade in your old games and save. Yep. So we got there. Unreal 2. Dr. Moto. No freaking clue. 
Brother in Arms, Road to Hill 30, Batman Vengeance, pretty freaking sweet, NBA Inside Drive, Hockey, Knockout Kings, Baseball, Road Trooper, Silent Scope Complete. I was going to say that felt pretty freaking heavy, folks. Must be multi freaking games in there or something. It's a big ass manual. Yep, we got the Silent Scope, three games in one. Looks like Iron Phoenix. We'll go to the sealed copies I got. All these are sealed still in the plastic. This one's a little bit messed up. As you can tell, Sonic Mega Collection Plus. It's got all the Sonic games. Plus six additional Game Gear titles. All for a buck. Not bad. Super Monkey Ball. Still sealed. Prince of Persia. Holy shit. Warrior Within. Blood Rain 2. AMF Bowling. Barely ever find sealed freaking games at the garage sales, folks. Who pays 20 bucks for a game doesn't even open it. Holy shit ski. 10 bucks for that beast. Viet Cong Purple Haze. Still freaking sealed. Blackstone. Drag racing. Yep, probably not going to open these beasts. I'm going to try to collect all 999 titles or however many there is. I think there might be a little bit more. Variants and shit too. But this is what we got today. We got almost 100 of them. Van Helsing. Alias. Magic. Pretty freaking sweet. Got the Halo Collector's Edition. Tin. It's pretty freaking cool. Halo 2. Land of the Dead. Carve. Blowout. Reckless. Call of Duty Finest Hour. Namco Museum. 50th Anniversary. Alter Ego. Deer Hunt. Colin McRae's Rally. Been wanting to get a few rally games. Them are pretty cool. The Subaru on the freaking front. Probably got some Ken Block cars in there. Who the frig knows, folks? Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Hitman 2. Odd World Munch's Odyssey. Freaking pretty freaking sweet. Half Life. Mortal Kombat. Blood Omen 2. NFL Fever 2002. Batman Shinsu. Holy shit ski. NCAA Football 2005. Beyond Good and Evil. Another friggin' game they wanted $20 for. Holy shit. Holy shit, folks. X-Men Next Dimension. Arctic Thunder. Area 51. -er. That's supposed to be a good one. Vex. Mist Revelation. Evil Dead. Got a copy of that or two for the PlayStation. And Voodoo Vince. Yep, that's my Xbox game collection. Almost a hundred titles there. Whole shitload of them are still freaking sealed in the plastic. And we'll show you the rest of the shit I got here in a second. I'll move that over. Dollar a piece spray. Pretty good price for them. You can get them for a dollar and under. 
probably pick him up. Who knows? Buddy L. It's pretty cool. 50 cents I paid for that. Then I got two dance pads with games. All for $6.50. I don't know. At least some of them saw on the internet. Put all the games together one of these days and sell them all. $2 I paid for the SingStar thing. Got me two pairs of goggles for a buck. Guitar Hero guitar I paid like a dollar fifty or some shit for a dollar. Who the frig knows? Who the frig knows anymore? We got a dollar marshmallow toaster right there, battery operated. Still in the friggin' packages. And I got another one. Pretty cool. Pretty friggin' cool with the marshmallow toasters. Oh yeah, then for two bucks I got this little skate tech deck thing that you hang on your freaking wall and shit. It's got the things you can hang it up on your wall, put all your little mini skateboards in that beast. Pretty cool. For a buck I got all this clothes, dollar piece. Construction company t-shirt, Taz on it and shit. 1994 Looney Tunes. Pretty cool. Two bucks I got these. Brand new pair of shoes for a little kid. For my kids, boys. Old Navy sweatshirt I paid a dollar for. This Articat jacket I paid a buck for all at the same freaking sale. Got that Articat jacket. Carhartt coat here type deal. Still got the... Uh, Look like they just took the freaking tag off, folks. Brand new. Brand new looking. One dollar. Red Wings sweatshirt there. ski -Doo jacket. That's a pretty old ski -Doo jacket. Looks like it's in good shape. Not bad. I got all these things for free, but I ended up paying a dollar for them. I don't know why. It said free. I was just like, I'll give you a buck because I ended up getting the belt too for like 50 cents or some shit. 75 cents, I can't really remember. Pretty cheap deal here. They had all kinds of military uniforms for 50 cents a piece. I just got the stuff that clips on to them, folks. All for like $2. Got me this cup for 50 cents. Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Got me this thing for like a dollar or something. I don't know. I can't really remember because they take all the freaking tags off. They take all the tags off, folks. Got me this shit right here. Four dollars for one bad I paid. I didn't really notice it, but all the other ones were a dollar a piece. I figured they were all a buck, but I ended up paying four for one. Easton bat right there. Another one right there. So I got five more bats to add to my bat collection yep those are all my garage sale pickups now I need to put all this shit away I'll be making a video game show you my video games in the next video or some shit oh yeah I'm gonna go get my rings of praise we'll see what them are worth John Picker out alright boys first sale up ain't even open yet still got the shit wrapped up competition is rolling up there's the white van there's the other guy, Ski. Yep, hopefully they open this beast up soon. Holy shit, Ski, this morning. Well, folks, that garage sale was a freaking hit. Holy shit, got a lot of stuff there. Now we need to go on to the next one. Oh, yeah. Got a few people since I've been sitting around. All right, guys, next freaking sale coming up. Be right in between them trees and shit. Yep, we got to get up there and start shopping. Hopefully they got some good shit. All right, guys, we're in rich folks' territory now. Look, you can tell they got uh, Lake Huron views and shit. Lake Huron views, there's a garage sale right up over there. We got to go hit that real quick. Hopefully, they got some good stuff. Oh, yeah. Garage sailing it up. They got an exercise machine and a couple, a couple scrubbers, boys. Oh, let's see what the fuel prices are on a Saturday ski. There's Meyer. Fuel prices on a Saturday. She's a little foggy out this morning. We're gonna go to hit a couple garage sales. Gas is 352 a gallon. 
379 for some diesel. Holy shit ski in the picker hood this morning. We got a little bit of fog rolling in. I'm gonna get me some gas and go hit the first garage sale. Oh yeah. All right guys, next garage sale coming up. Doesn't start for half an hour there. They got freaking people there. Holy shit ski, we gotta get up there. The white van beat me today, boys. White freaking van beat me. Oh yeah, we gotta get up to this sale, see what they got for me. Hopefully a bunch of good shit. All right guys, next garage sale should be coming up wherever this freaking Jeep pulls in. I'm just gonna whip off the side of the road here. Start shopping. Oh yeah, it's right there. All right guys, next freaking sale coming up. Holy shit, she looks like a big one this morning. Stretched all the way out through the whole front lawn. We gotta get up there and start doing some shopping. Holy shit ski. All kinds of shit up there. Oh yeah. Oh, the deals are flowing in this neighborhood, folks. The deals are flowing. Snow blowers, boat motors, all kinds of shit. Holy shit ski this morning. Oh yeah, got some deals. Even got a table full of cars right there. Snagged up some of them cars, boys. Oh yeah. Now we gotta go to the next one. Holy shit to this morning. Holy shit. Oh, what do we got going on here, folks? I didn't, oh, looks like there's another freaking sale up there. Holy shit, how am I missing all these sales today? Let's go check out the scene this morning. Look at all the freaking cars. Holy shit, ski today. Yep, they got some shit out. We're gonna go check that out after I negotiate through this traffic and get up there. Oh yeah. Holy shit, folks, there's another garage sale. Look at that beast, we gotta get up there. Oh yeah. All right, guys, garage sale finds of the week. All the shit I got this week picking. Bunch of cool ass shit. I got me one of the best records I've ever found. A little bit more gold. Got me some uh, video games and shit and some John Forrest cars. A little bit of Sterling. Let's get right into this stuff. First find right here is the M&M Relapse record. It's a double record. I got it for three bucks. Still sealed. Halfway anyway, it's pretty freaking sweet. It's one of the best records I've ever found at a freaking garage sale. Got a bunch of good shit at this garage sale, guys. It's got a bunch of good songs on there. Bunch of good songs on the Relapse album. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that record. Next thing I got at the garage sale would be this uh, PS3 game. $39.99, still sealed. Not a real good game, I don't think. Little kid's game right there, folks. Five bucks, I got me this uh, 2,350 watt amp for a car. It's pretty freaking sweet. Five bucks, I got me a pre-amplifier for a house. You plug your microphones and shit in there, it's 2,000 watts. Still got the box right there. It's a pretty good find. Lights up blue and shit in the front, as you can tell. Same sale, I got me these headphones for 10 bucks. Polk Audios. It's pretty freaking sweet, still in the box. They got a date on the back of 2014. 421 2014. Then at the same sale, I ended up scoring up on this big ass roll of wire. Probably about 10, 10 to 15 pounds of wire there. Probably get about 30 bucks for that roll, so that basically paid for my whole garage sale finds the headphones, the amp, that amp, and the MM record. So I basically got all that shit, I just gotta do a little bit of work for it. Whatever, I don't care. Two dollars, I got me this electric knife right here. Pretty freaking sweet, still sealed. Two bucks. You can get thousands of items like that, but gotta have some money, folks. Five bucks, I got me this uh, Bond 007 game. It's all freaking dirty. Five bucks, whatever. I needed that game anyway. Got it for five bucks. Free, I got this uh, broken iPod. I guess it's got water damage or some shit. I don't know, sometimes you could sell broken items and people will fix them up. They'll have something new. Holy shit ski. Fifty cents, I got a map of the United States. Big ass laminated one of... 
I think. Holy shit ski. 50 cents I got me this pencil sharpener. Dollar I got me an electric one. Spokane pickers sell those beast up so figured I'd grab me a couple up. If they're worth money. Only paid a buck fifty. Maybe I can get a couple dollars. Who knows? Skis. 75 cents I got me these little audio players. They're made by Samsung or some shit. They're called Yeps. I don't know. Figured they were worth something. Picked them up. Ski, holy shit. Got me some gold at one garage sale and some more sterling silver at another. This right here is 18 karat gold. It's pretty good freaking find. More gold to add to my gold collection. Holy shit, ski. This stupid thing don't want to focus. Oh, there we go, 18 karat. We like that kinds. We like that kinds, and it's got a big ass uh, rock in there. I probably could have had a couple more pieces, but I ended up buying a fake piece. These rings were three dollars a piece, and that one was 50 cents. This one's 925 silver or some shit. Yep, got a mark in there, 925 or some shit like that. We got a uh, silver ring there, 18 karat gold, the big ass rock in it. I could have probably had another ring, but instead I got that fake ass ring right here. I thought I had a mark inside, but it didn't. Guy behind me that was checking out the rings was a John Henry's brother or some shit because I see him up there all the time at the Antiques Mall. But I did get one 18 karat gold ring, folks. Not too bad. Three bucks. It's 25 cents. I got me some, uh, I got, dude, where's my car DVD? Five bucks I paid for this Wii game. 25 cents for Forrest Gump. It's a pretty good movie. We like Forrest Gump. Then I got all these freaking ones. 25 cents a piece. These are all VHS tapes. Mikey. It's a pretty good one. This is a converter for your VHSC tape so you can play your recorded movies in the house. I need one for mini DVs, digital videos. Robin Williams, Good Morning America. Scored up a few Robin Williams movies this week. Poetic Justice, Tupac in it. Mrs. Doubtfire. Back to the Future. The Good Son. Halloween 3. And Commando. It's a pretty good movie. Always like that movie, folks. Got Commando there. Flicka DVD set I scored up for a dollar. Looks like they had three on it at one point in time. I actually paid five bucks for the Monster Jam game because I wanted to play it. If you're watching them monster trucks, now I gotta play the video game, folks. Holy shit ski. Should have talked them down a few dollars, but whatever. Dollar a piece I paid for these. Lion King 2. And Beauty and the Beast. Got those for my kids, folks. For the kids. Two dollars for a Wii Jeep game. Jeep Thrills. Two dollars I paid for this game. No freaking clue. OMG. Some shit. Two bucks for Pirates of the Caribbean. Dollar for Avatar. Dollar for Ninja Gaiden. The better games were a dollar. The sucky games were two bucks. Well, that one's kind of sucky too. All these ones with them stickers, I got the same freaking sale. Two bucks for ATV. Two bucks for baseball. Then I paid a buck a piece for these PlayStation 2 games. Got a uh, Dance Dance Supernova. I got like three copies of that freaking game. Dance Dance Extreme. Dance Dance Max 2. Gadget Racers. Probably pretty cool. Spider Man. Dollar a piece. I just got every single game they had. Rayman 2 Revolution, The Haunted Mansion, Jake and Daxter, 
no manual on that one. Got me some uh, pencils for 50 cents. Same sale, I scored up all these candlestick holders. It's weighted sterling silver. Those are pretty freaking cool. It's got a big ass rock down here. He's going to pop it off right there. See that seam going around. He'll pop that off, knock that rock out. There's probably one up here. I might make probably 10, 15 bucks off this stuff, hopefully. Hopefully we make some money. $1.50 for these two. Probably paid the same amount for those two and then 50 cents for that little one. It's all sterling. It's all got marks on the freaking bottom. I thought one of these had a different style mark on it. That one, the mark looks all wore off, but it's got one right there. Cement filled. Cement filled sterling. He'll just knock all the cement out and pay me for scrap sterling price, folks. Holy shit ski. We'll take these games and I'll set them down over here. I got me a set of Red Wings cups for two bucks. 50 cents a piece on those beast. It's got uh, four different cups in there. Picked me up all these John Force racing cars at a garage sale for $20. Oh yeah, this one got ripped off on that one. I thought it was a John Force, but it's some other guy. Mac Tools. Uh, this one's Mac Tools too. That's pretty freaking cool. Seven time champion car. Castrol GTX John Force folks Good guy to collect in the racing funny cars anyway Pretty sweet collection Got four John Force cars and one somebody else, but it was supposed to be a John Force Didn't check it before I left folks see made another mistake didn't check my shit Got me some Shrek the third cups over there three different versions one's the one's a double so we got three versions of the Shrek cup that's pretty much my finds of the week best find would be the M&M album and probably some of this audio equipment and shit sterling silver and the gold oh yeah check that gold out ski holy shit be nice nice rock there boys oh yeah Along with a bunch of freaking sterling. Alright guys, she's August 22nd. We got the Meyer update on you. Got a little Meyer update. They're getting shit done big time. Dude's in there freaking welding and shit. He's welding the roof on the old Meyer store ski, as you can tell. As you can tell. Yep, they're getting roofs welded on, driveways put in, holy shit ski, Meyer's looking like a Meyer now. There's the gas station. They're getting all the curbing put in here. Looks pretty freaking nice. Elmer's boys are in there just to welding it up today. Yep, a little bit of welding going on there. Looks like they might have a little pond ski right there. They're curbing it right in today, folks. Curbing it right on in. Yep, Meyer's getting a parking lot put all in there. Kind of looks like a Walmart ski. Looks pretty freaking nice. They're getting it all flattened right out today. Bunch of people working over here. Back her up a notch. Going the wrong way today, folks. Like there's some welding going on in there. Oh, they're getting the roof put on big time at the old Myers ski today, aren't they? Looking good. All they gotta do is put the roof on, then they're working on the insides. Big time fabricating here today, folks. 
Okay, do you want to flatten and shit out? Parking lot's gonna be right there. Gas station over yonder. Yep, we'll cruise around a little bit more here. Show you the rest of the site planning. See what we got going on over here. Yep, that's your Meyer update. Looking good, holy shit ski. Almost done, boys. August 22nd. 